Welcome back to Anderton's TV, everybody.、Um, Pete, yes, I feel like I've outgrown my pedal board. Yes, I know for sure that I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight pedals on this board, and only the six-way quartermaster. So I have gone and purchased an eight-way quartermaster. But as you can see now, it doesn't fit on my、I、board. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's some problems, man. I think I'm gonna. I also feel like, excuse me. I also feel like I've got one or two missing pedals, like a wah, that kind of vibe. Yeah, no, maybe I, a fuzz. I feel you, man. I feel you. So, I'm, in, I'm in there. I'm, I'm. So I'm going bigger. What about、yeah. what about you? I'm going bigger too. I keep putting more and more on this board. It keeps getting wider and wider. I've got a six, an eight way,、uh, or six way power supply, and I keep putting more and more in. And, so I really need some more space, and I wanted like to put some volume. You're, you're not.、Well. Um, You're not. You don't do the switcher thing, do you? You're just quite well, happy stomping I, on the pedals. Well, I've got, I've got the, I've got the the big G2, but I'll use that for something else. I feel like it's just for just videos. Just keep it simple, right? I keep it simple. Yeah, so yeah. okay, so. so I'm. So this is not like a new pedal board as such with all new pedals. This is like a pedal board transfer. Yeah, transplant. Um. So I was looking at boards. Before we go on, please like and subscribe. Oh yes. We have to remember to tell you that. And thank you very much for watching and all yes, that stuff. Yes. If you、It's、have already subscribed,、girl. thank you. Please do. Right. Go on.、Um, so, Pete's got a couple of new boards from a, a revamped、uh, series of Tor Pro, Pro Tor. I can't、yeah. remember.、Uh, boards from Friedman. Yep. Uh, that you rather like? You're choosing between、uh, yeah, see, yeah, so like, oh, two different sizes. Yeah, two different sizes, and these、uh, are the premium packs that they come with,、uh, like a patch bay that attaches、uh, underneath there, so you can you know do stuff in and out of your effects loop. And they also come with a power supply here、nice. to go underneath, so that's、nice. pretty cool. It comes with these little, sorry, these little bits here, so you can see. Now I, I, I kind of, volume. I got excited. I thought maybe I'll just whichever one Pete doesn't use, I'll steal it, steal the other one. Sorry. Yeah. But I, this idea, I, on the one hand, that one of the features that makes this uber cool,、yes. this idea of this sort of dual so, level so thing. So cool. So cool. You, 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 yeah. Yeah. Equally, you once you put on the switcher in, kind of means that you don't actually have enough space in here to put the pedals on that bottom row, unless you put them on sort of sideways.、Yeah. So I was kind of thinking, I'm going to just stick with a conventional、um, sort of one level, if you like, board bigger from than the one Fender. Bigger than what I've got, and what I really like, I still. I still really think Fender have done a killer job of this because I I, I I do like the big engine room power supply、Absolutely、that they、brilliant. make. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah.、Uh, really good power supply, and、yeah. it fits. It comes with all the mounting brackets and everything to fit under here. So this is going to be my well, new board. Well, let's have a look. Just a, just a comparison to what have we got there? How many outputs have we got on that one? Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.、Um, Nine volt, five hundred milliamp、okay. ones, and then two ones that you can adjust from nine volt to eighteen volts. Yeah. I've, I've got even got USB outputs on this if I need to one, phone two, my three,、uh, charge four, my phone five, six, at seven, a really eight, important、nine. gig. I've got ten as well here. Yeah, ten is so, enough, right? Ten、yeah. is enough.、Um, because I've basically I've got hand me downs here from Pete.、Uh, <laughs> I've already got the Velcro on his, so my board transfer isn't going to take very long at no, all. No, it's not. I'm excited I'm just... to sort of put. I know I'm going to end up with enough space to probably put one or two more pedals on, so、yes. I'm kind of excited that I get to choose which ones they are. Uh, and you, you're doing the same transfer, right? But it's going to take you a bit longer. Yeah, I don't know which one,、up. which one I'm going to use here because it's kind of a, you know, I'm,、uh, I'm debating whether I should go twenty、uh, inches or twenty-four inches. Well,、They're、if this is,、uh, if <laughs> this is Pete、uh, mass debating in a video, it shouldn't take very long,、uh, right? So anyway, <laughs> let's get on with the build. Now tell us, Pete, <laughs> the whole idea of the patch bay that comes with the the Friedman Platinum Pack. Yes. What's the point of that? See the point. The point of that.、Um, I'm just going to sit back down here. The point of that is that you can have all your、um, modulation effects coming out of so the reverb, the delay, and all that stuff you can put in. So you can have coming that out of the re of the effects loop of the album, right? And are you actually going to do that? Because in the past you've always、um, been. Uh, quite、um, insulting、uh, uh, uh, whenever I've suggested, you know, perhaps you, we yes, should put see, this through the effects. Yes, but see, I've done、loop. it on my、um, 
Smith Array board is that I can actually um, I can actually go from one loop into the other, and by that way I I bypass the effects loop, so I don't need to use it, so I can go straight in. You see, you know what I mean? I do know what you mean. Yep. Yeah. That's cool though, oh, look, loose. check that out there, look. That's pretty cool. I, I don't deny. Well, there's another day of our lives. What do you we'll mean never one get day? Back. Two days, Lee. Well, it's, it was yesterday afternoon and tomorrow morning. It's funny because it? you'll see the video, you go, yeah, and we'll be right back. And then the yeah. next day, we're wearing the same clothes. I was though. thinking to myself, I wonder if anyone will spot that I've put different socks on. The only continuity issue. You've I got spilled, different trousers. I, no, already. I spilled on my, on my last night when I had some food. I spilled on them, so I had to wash them. Wow. So uh, that's, how, that's how invested I am in this project. So what you done? What you got, Pete? Do you want me to do first? Me do well, you want I me mean, do first? Mine, mine has changed. Uh, I was saying to Pete, overnight I dreamt about what pedals I was going to put on my board. <laughs> that's how bad it got last night. Yeah, I, I was, I was, I was, I was uh, going, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but basically, I've been waiting since now, what, 9 o'clock this morning, 8.30 this morning of you to finish your board, basically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I had mine mostly done. Okay. Well, a few minor changes. Come on, tell me about the minor changes. Uh, so, I mean, the board itself is obviously a big change, right? So the board itself is a big change. I really, really like this board. Um, sadly, I couldn't use the power supply because it's all 350 milliamps, which is such a shame. Yeah. Uh, and I think I mentioned it to to, to Friedman, so maybe they'll maybe they'll you know change yep. that in the future. And ju Whatever. Just to just to um, confirm what we potentially said at the beginning of the video, new Friedman boards yeah. are available either the board on its own, yeah. nothing else, and, and we do like that because it's, it's the, a, the sort of the, the dual the tier, tier. The tier level, I'm into this. You get I'm the Wawa it. kind of uh, adapter thingy as well. Yeah, so you can. I've and opted out for that, sadly. But but what they've changed from the previous version is the, they've decided not to ship these. They basically discontinued the bag completely. Yeah. So the old ones used to come with a Friedman bag. There's no such thing as a Friedman bag anymore. No. You can't even buy it as an optional extra. So they've reduced the price of the board slightly and changed the sizes of the board so that they now fit into the common mono other, bags, like monos yeah. and pedal train bags yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, they do these as a platinum pack where it comes with a buffer, which perhaps I'm, Pete explain on the it. side. Yeah. Uh, sorry, a, p a patch bay buffer on the side yeah. and a power supply. But the boards on their own, I love I've got the board. to say, I think is is a winner. Yeah, the board on its own is and great. And not everybody got needs a bag, do they? No, I mean, I we're, mean we're a good example of yeah, we just we, use we, these here. But that's the thing, isn't it? Or these are called Tour Pro, you know, they're Tour Pro yeah. boards. So they are, and I, I do see that as a, when you are touring, you don't really need bags because either you've got a flight case for it or your guitar tech will put it in your, you've got yeah. a thing where your guitars and everything at the end of the day. Another thing that it doesn't come with, which we had confirmed this morning, is Velcro. So, yes. you know, whether Maybe they'll change their mind on that. It's a pain yeah. in the bum not yeah. getting Velcro. But luckily, we had some Velcro left over. We did. So uh, that was okay. Um, but I love that dual tier thing because I can now. I'm like, yeah, not it is. A, in, it's a cool feature. You know, one of those where you have to step over and you have to get your little toe uh, in there and stuff. So I have to but be you honest don't need with you. That. Well, I have to be honest with you. On the Fender board, yeah. If I didn't have the switcher along the front, mm -hmm. you know, you can see this. Like, look at this um, TC Electronic chorus because the pedal's a little bit thinner. Yeah. You can't really oh, you get there to... without treading on. So that's where I think that dual tier thing's it's a really a great cool idea. feature. Yeah, it's a great um, idea. Anyway, anyway, so uh, from yesterday, I changed a few things. Um, there was, I uh, had the, oh, yeah, the you, you, I took that off, that. I wanted that on and then I was like, oh, I can't fit it anywhere because then I was like really jealous of your cloud burst. So I put the slur on instead because it's got a similar kind Strymon, of thing. if you're watching, please send Pete a free cloud oh, burst. Oh man, it's such a, I'm so we, jealous. We had to fight each other to get the one free yep. one you sent us Well, before. you said fight, I just went, <laughs> <laughs> you're not having a look. So anyway, if you don't have to give it back, that's the whole thing, isn't it? We never know. So anyway, so I, I had the uh, Astra from uh, UAFX. Which I I was uh, I didn't really need because I had tremolo here and I had the deco and I've got sort of a, a, a chorus effect in there, and then with the slow I got I put the Lex on instead because I want it um, I want it just stomp oh, through them anyway. Let's yeah. have a little listen. So I mean you need more drive pedals obviously. I mean I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drive pedals. Of, of various, there you go. Uh, of Chris various. Buck says, I see your seven. Raise yes. you to nine or whatever he's got on his pedal board. So first in the chain is my tuner. So actually I'm going into the patch bay 
Um, and so what I what I've done is I can all my um, modulation pedals here I can I've put into the patch base so I can take that and go straight into the effects loop of the amp if I want to or I can with a simple little uh, Ooh, cable like this him. I can put in uh, I can just you know I can go in and then through it all like that and then come back out again so is that so, what you've got now are you through it all or are you so in the I'm, effects I'm, loop I'm not in the effects loop now right. I'm through okay. it all I've got a, a, another blue sky is that Robbie the, Williams effects. yeah and through in it all, all I didn't use the effects loop. loop so I've got I put it in the front end <laughs> So I've got the Boss TU2 tune on here. I used to have this little poly tune, which I'm going to put on my other board, but it's slightly small and I always try, couldn't really fit. So anyway, so that's on there, number one. Then it goes into the Cali, 76 stack. For a little bit I of, love that, I love that compressor. And this one is yeah. great because you've got two stacked um, compressors, uh, 1176s into each other, and that just creates a really nice vibe. Then I've got the Thorpey Fallout Cloud. I'll leave the compressor on. That's like a big muffy type thing, germanium. Oh, that, was, that was the oh one I gosh. used for, I used in the- um, You've won already. <laughs> That's the one I used in the Cloudburst video. Yeah, Those two great. together, so Jeff Becky. Great, great, great. Then I've got an Argo. I used to have the little Argo Good film. Yeah, Argo yourself. Um, true story. True story. Great uh, film. But so this is like an octave up fuss. <laughs> That's really nice. Um, fast in the beginning there. Then I've got the Dane. Yeah. All with the boost. Oh. There, then uh, I've got the Halcyon for like more of a, like, it's probably better on a strap, but it's the two screen vibe. <laughs> and with the Dane. They're good together. Uh, Literally 50 shades of the same It's 50 shades now. of the same old vibe <laughs> on YouTube, you're on your phone, you're like, this sounds all the same, and it's like, yes, it does sound all the same. Then I've got the protein uh, oh. from from, uh, from Brown... Brown effects, Brown amplification yeah. even. Which is a their version of a blues uh, breaker and a nobles. So... <laughs> So just a little, just a little bit of a naughty old drive, and then I got the green side. Both together. <laughs> Almost like that guitar. It sounds like a good guitar. guitar. Uh, Will you leave that to me in your will? Yes. Just, that's the only thing I want of yeah. yours. <laughs> it's a great guitar. Uh, so that together, I mean, that's because instead of having high gain pedals, I'll just stack them, uh, you know, so I can get that. I think and, that's... and now you know why Pete keeps playing Mastodon riffs. Uh, then I've got the Deco, so I can have my... Because I saw Wendy Melon using that for, for her, her playing uh, Pearl Rain with the drive. I think that's the most Led Zeppelin pedal that you own, the Deco. I just, I just sound, hear man. Jimmy Page every time you you yeah, and you, you, do can, your thing. you can. It's not that it needs to be tuned in a different way, but it's great and it stacks really well. got the Lex which went in instead of the Astra because I felt like I didn't need all the stuff I had 
chorus, I had tremolo, and I didn't, the next, uh, the uh, Astro doesn't do any um, of that sort of, I really like that. That's my favorite. My favorite thing the Lex does is go between slow and fast and yeah. then back to, to slow again. It's but so it's good. It's so pedal. good, and it's got it's got drive in it as well. Has if you it? want, yeah. So you actually have got eight drive pedals potentially. I do potentially, yeah. <laughs> So that's like a Lexley effect. Great. I love that. Then I've got uh, the Starlight Echo Station because it's got two. It's got a preset mode, which none of the Strymon delay pedals finally have on. They oh, don't have a favorite. No, not as far as I know. No, the Kappa stand doesn't. What's on the dick? Yeah, What's no, the other it doesn't one? Is that have just a tempo. Is it? So it's just one delay. I think you have delay. to use the mini switch, don't you? You have to have the extra I'm thing not on sure. the side. Yeah, I think I'm you not can. Even sure. I think can you can you? use the mini switch with it to have a favorite setting. Oh well, okay, or MIDI or whatever. But I'm not using the MIDI, so I've got a little bit of a. Just How do you, of, just oh, there's no. So you don't. There's no um, favorite. What do you mean? Sorry, I'm going mad here. Of course. So that's not what you're using for delay. You're using that for reverb, are you? No, I'm using that for delay. Oh, you are using the for delay. Is Sorry. The delay echo Sorry. station. So. Okay. So how do you do? This which is, just is a the short tap one. tempo button then? Tap tempo's here, so I can. Oh, if I hold it down. Oh, that's your preset. So is then it? I've got my I preset. See. Right, and so then I click back over here. Yeah. I see. I can, and then it'll keep that. So I've got a quite a quick one. So I still, so still got two settings, and they both of them have got tap tempo. So that's pretty cool. That's actually. pretty cool. Yeah. Then we got the epic slow because I don't get a cloud burst, but. I still love the slow. It's a great, I still think it's a great yeah, pedal. Uh, like for big crazy reverbs, it's cool. really, really cool. It is a bit confusing, that's a problem. It's a bit too much maybe. So anyway, so I've got that. Uh, then I've got the flint at the end, just as an extra reverb. I think the flint, if you want a pedal that just sounds like an amp reverb, yeah, it's great. I think the flint's about the best one that it, you can buy. It's super cool. Plus, and then I got the tremolo, of course. You've got all the chords. So, so annoying. Uh, I mean, it's a good pedal board. It'll probably it change by the time we, uh, by the I time mean, this video finishes, I'm looking over and going, oh, no, what, no, Roughly what speaking, there's about 3,000 pounds of the pedals on there, isn't there? That's not, it's, you know, that's not your affordable pedal it's, board, it's is it? It's not at all. And I, I then put a, the Fender power supply underneath there. Oh, yeah. Uh, which has got 12 outputs in it. And then I'm still some, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. But I have to power this as well. Right. So that because that's buffered. So, you so I'm powering Daisy up from chain that off into the tuner. There, yeah. So yeah. that's a great feature on the tuner. Right. Yeah. Good job. Okay, so my board beat that. I can't beat that. But you that, can, can beat that. Well, you got I, a wild pedal on there, yeah, man. Yeah, you're right. So I um 
I got the hand-me-down fender board from Pete, which is fine. Uh, and I upgraded the Quartermaster from the six button one I had on the old board to the I'll eight there, button yeah. one now. I honestly, I probably, I think I probably could even use the 10 button Quartermaster, but hey, diddly ho. So I have got uh, the Polytune over here. So the first thing is this doesn't go through the Quartermaster. Um, I like the Polytune. The only feature that, that Pete had on his uh, tuner that I kind of was like, oh, that's handy. I quite like the in and out power supply yeah. thing. That's so, great, isn't um, it? Because you've got one more. Yeah. You know. Uh, but anyway, so Polytune's good and, you know, it's nice and accurate and easy to use. And you can and choose so all of the strings at the same time. You can go like that. I've never, I'm not of that generation, Pete. Um, right. Now, because I've got um, 10 pedals and only eight loops on the um, Quartermaster, two of them can't go through it. All right. So Wawa's obvious doesn't want, doesn't need to go through it. But I've decided to put my compressor first, not through the loop. Okay. Um, I don't. I mean, obviously, we had lots of discussions around what goes first. Is it fuzz first? Is it wah first? Is it compressor first? And I think there's like, you've just got to choose what you want. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to use the compressor into the wah or the fuzz too much. So I thought I'd just put that first out the way, not mm -hmm. in the loop. So, and I've stayed with the whitey tighty. I just like, and it's pretty subtle. Compressor. Yeah, it's nice not a subtle. really... Subtle like your personality. Yes, exactly. And your friends uh, group. <laughs> next in the loop, of course, is, and I've not had one of these for a long time. God help us all. Which is the best thing ever, because even the... You don't even need to be able to play guitar, you just need to hop, mute all the strings and strum. Yeah. This is a custom audio wah that I... have had I took out of the store about yeah. five years Solid, ago to put yeah. on a board and then never did. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. After the court after the wah wah it goes into the quartermaster now so that's when all the switches work. Mm. I wanted a simple boost pedal. Um, to be honest I had the all about the boost which to be honest I could have just left on there because that's similarly effective. I tried a spark boost, which I liked. I went back to trying the EP boost, which didn't, which put too much bass end on. I wasn't sure if I was going to put like a clon or something in there. In the end, I just decided I just wanted a simple, clean boost. So. Now I chose the Duchess um, because it had a three band EQ on That's it as well. Really good, yeah. So I just thought at least it gives me, a, and what I've done with that three band EQ is I've just pushed the mid range a little bit, but I can change that depending on the guitar I'm using. Okay, next is a departure. I've never had one of these before. I now have an octave fuzz ah! from Fjord Fuzz. It has two modes, I one uh, no octave. <laughs> So not, it's certainly not like fallout cloud fuzz, but I just wanted to. I wanted to do that. Yes. God help us all. Um, I know. <coughs> and now I've got the wah first and the fuzz second, and it, appears to not be so here's the the the, the fjord fuzz has an octave mode so now the octave mode is on you got this oh but if i put the wire in it seems to somehow lose that as in you don't really get the wah So, still there. Still there. I know, I'm not still sure there. about that. One of the reasons I wanted the boost before the fuzz was I, that that sort of I could I wanted to just boost the fuzz to get. It. 
I, Pete is quite right. I need to work out what the colors are. That's right, right. So nothing, just the fuzz, octave fuzz. Okay, yeah. fine. You're so the trying yeah. to get blue on the top. Yeah. So if I really fine. want... Try to roll your tone control off a little bit with that. I will do it at that's, some point. That's those two things together with that. That's very Clapton boost circuit, it is. isn't it? Yeah. So anyway, uh, Canham Ridge. Um, yes. This awesome. is the pedal that we. This is this one with this analog morph circuit in, oh, which sorry. should be able to sound like lots yeah, of different pedal. drive pedals. But, but that's I've a good set sound. This, I've set this. I've made a preset of just like a low drive. And again, can use the boost at the beginning. To just chunk it up a little bit. I can, if I get into this, there are two, there's a preset and the regular mode in the kernel mic. So I could uh, set that up quite simply as two different pedals. Sheriff, which is going into some slightly higher gain territory. Which is like, got a lovely That's throaty I kind I of. I love that pedal, it's yeah. pedal, isn't it? <laughs> Yay! It's so boring. Uh, and then Kraken, I've only got the Kraken on the board for when somehow I'm forced to do a demonstration of a pointy headstock guitar and I need to go. I don't but even see, know what see, I'm the, playing it, when, you go, when you're doing that and I go... I'm not sure a vintage Telecaster is the kind of no, the right but, but vibe you want, you were this. saying you want high gain tones and I'm just going... I've got two pedals going yeah. into each other and it gives you Does a... Does that sound very, the same? It's not. It's uh, when we were when you had Bill in here. Yeah. And he was playing. There wasn't. There wasn't that f really high gain. It was just. No, you're was, right. It was Let, a different. Uh, uh, we it, we know it, this. It opened uh, up my mind to to gain. Good. Right? A good recorded overdrive, heavy overdrive tone has less gain on yeah, the it's amplifier more mid, mid range. It pushes out the mids yeah. somehow. You uh, know. Then I have the TC electronic stereo chorus. Oh, that's a good pedal. Yeah, I still, this is the closest, this is the closest pedal that I've got to, like, that you can buy nowadays, I think, to like an old boss, a like, really good old boss well, analog got chorus. Those, but, yeah. but you can't buy them anymore, is what I mean. Well, you can buy the Wassercraft. I still, I prefer that. Got top mounted jacks. Stereo as well, if you want it. Delay yeah. from the Capistan from Strymon. It's a good, again, it's a good, it's a good delay. delay. Right? I, again, I, I have that set on its uh, simplest kind of mode, basically. Yeah, fitting. In fact, that has... <laughs> <laughs> In fact, to be totally honest with you, I realise that's got adjusted uh, as... Um, and then lastly is the cloud burst. Which, which, to be honest with you, I have to force myself to switch off the ensemble mode, otherwise I'll just use it all the time. So I've got it at the moment just as a big reverb. You know? Oh, you need the ensemble mode on there, man. You need oh. it on setting one, you know, like just a little bit. And then 
So you need the pre-delay, pre... -delay, pre Mama! The pre-delay uh, delay is such a powerful on, uh, you effect like, on that you thing. Like the, the, yes, because the... then if you go like, if you do like one chord, just do like a chord, and you go... And then it, it comes in. And it swells on the in the back. So I, what I need to find are some interesting combinations now of sort of, you know... Of the wah pedal. <laughs> That was cool. Was that good? I don't know. I thought it sounded good. It was great. very good, man. It was I mean, very that, good. That, that's, that's the fuzz and the... That was the, the fuzz and the boost pedal fuzz, together. Fuzz, boost and wow, and, man. And, you and you the, got fuzz and wow. And man. it had the cloud burst on it, which kind of... I don't know if it needs that. Because you, no, you, you want the cloud... You want the cloud burst down in the mix and yeah, still on. Do. And then the pre... I bet, I bet that would sound good with the Les Paul. I think the fuss is the wrong fuss for that. Do you? I think you, mo you need more of this kind of... Like a, a fatter, uh, bigger no, fuzz. No, no, that, no, no, yeah, I've just got more you, fuzz maybe like, there, a, like a muff fat... Okay. Well, that's that's why I've got the... two fusses, you see. With the octaves a bit much, isn't it? I think what I think what you what you what you want to try to do is make the kernum into a bit of a muff into muff muff. muff oh, there it is. Yeah, because the muff is more. That's a shout. There is a fuzz a... mode in the kernum, isn't there?
You can play afterwards, Lee. It's a good board. It's a very Yay! good board. We'll have thousands of videos to do with these boards. Hey, yeah. so there we go. There hey. we go. There we go. Anyway, like you so say, links what's for the all day's of this. Day, Tuesday. I'll give it till Thursday before there's a new pedal on the here. Next right? video you see will definitely be a different. <laughs> You're right. On it. Photos of each one, so you can kind of get an idea of how we set these. And uh, yeah. yeah, links are below. Pretty sure everything's for sale still. I think we've tried to avoid discontinued pedals. Yeah. What do you always played into? You went into a victory. I was in the sheriff. Uh, not the sheriff. The uh, Duchess again. And I was in the uh, Friedman. I'm loving that amp. Just. Thank you for watching. Sorry, Please yes. like and subscribe. And now Lee's going to sit here and play for like half an hour. And that's fine. Because that's it's, I get it. It's really, really inspiring. I'm going to wear the pot out on this my wild, This is the inspiration. We are, we insp <laughs> this is what people do, isn't it? We, that's why people buy pedals. That's the end of it. Like and subscribe. We'll see you later. Off he goes. Jimi Hendrix, man. Yeah, I'll see you later, man. Have fun. Bye. Bye-bye.